Okay, today I sent out an email with a review, and I'll give you a link to that in just a second, for a thing called Create Studio. And when I first heard about it, it's from a guy named Josh Rada, who actually does a pretty good job in his software team of building some fairly decent software. And when I heard that there was a new version of yet another video animation creation platform coming out, I, I roll my eyes and I go, oh man, here we go again. Another half-assed amateur night attempt at creating software. In essence, I really don't want to like these things from the word go. But I got review access to it, and I've been playing with it, and the more I play with it, the more I like it. It's a, a pretty decent addition to the old animation toolkit, and we'll take a quick look at it and stuff. It's not a cure for video cancer, right, or anything like that, but here's kind of the scoop is that I'm only really liking it at the launch price, which is only good for a few days here. Well, it started out at 47 bucks, which is actually a really, really good deal because it hasn't crashed on me. It seems to do what it says it'll do in my testing, but I think it's up to like 50 something now. And after tonight, it's going to start again ticking up at 67 bucks. So the longer it kind of goes, the more it's going to cost. And during the launch, it's still going to be a pretty good deal. But after the launch, it goes to like I think like 199 bucks. That's not a dog that will hunt for that price. So that's basically the scoop on that. Let's jump out real quick and I'll see if I can't do just a little bit of a demo. I put a link in the chat box. You can go check out all the features and all that good stuff. Uh, like I say, I also sent out a review email. So I'll put this link in the chat box in case you're not getting or opening or didn't see this email. So I kind of go into a whole bunch of that here also, but let's just kind of wander a little bit. I'm not going to get into this too much. I've been doing some testing on it and things like that. You can start with a blank project and set up all the stuff. It's a very nice and clean interface. I like it. It's obviously done by some developer pros. So again, Josh's team has been doing an increasingly better job of their software, so I like that. And it's got a lot of handy features. I'm not going to attempt to touch on all of them. I'm just going to make the main points here. One thing that I do kind of like is that you can you know, easily set it for various dimensions and formats and video purposes. And you can create a blank project. Oh, okay, that's fun. But it also has templates, so let's click on this. And it comes with like a bunch of stuff. One of the things that it does really well is animated characters. Now, most of the time I'll use maybe PowerPoint to do these kinds of things, but these are really kind of nice. <laughs> There's both 2D and 3D types of characters, and to animate them, you basically just define what gestures you want them to make. And each character comes with like a whole set of emotional gestures and stuff like that. So consequently, it makes it really easy to just say, in this scene, I want him to wave. In this scene, I want him to look confused. And you just tack all this stuff together. So I like it. So explainer videos using characters is one of the areas that it really kind of kicks some butt on. Uh, let's see, lots of other kinds of videos you can make. Slideshows, these are device frames in Camtasia, right? They're all pretty much drag and drop, simple kinds of things to do. There's lots of logo stings. And again, it's kind of like a lot of the other platforms that we use and like, such as Revio, videos, except that this is a standalone app, so it's not in the cloud. The performance is pretty good. I like stuff like that. What do we have here? Logo stings, as an example. Here's kind of a nice one. I'll just show you one of my samples real quick. So I created this in, and I timed it. It was four and a half minutes for me to modify this template. 
So let me just show you what it does. It's got a really nice little audio effects track to it. It's just lovely. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's uh, go back home. Let's click on a project just for kicks and giggles. The main things I like about it, it's got a timeline and it acts like a timeline, right? It's got layers, so it's a non-linear editor. And if you think it looks a little bit like Camtasia, well, that's because it kind of does. If you check out the various things that you can do, there's grouping, groups open up in their own tab. So you can really kind of nest things in. And again, it's very Camtasia-like in the way it looks and feels. You get uh, different settings for uh, different properties and things like that. You can replace media, all that good kind of stuff. Track controls, importing media, and then it has this thing called Studio. And the Studio is all kinds of scenes, characters, transitions, and basically you just drag and drop these kinds of things onto the canvas and you make them last how long you want, you time them, you know, do all that stuff. It's got a lot of powerful features to it. So my basic take is that as opposed to maybe the complexity of Camtasia, this is not a Camtasia killer by any stretch of the imagination, but it can, like a lot of those other video tools I mentioned, like Revio and videos, create some nice content for us that you can then pull into Camtasia. When you first go in, you have to download assets. So this is how they kind of add new stuff and whatnot. But once you download it and add it, then it will be in your, in your studio selections here, and you can just drag them and drop them in. So it's a nice little complement to Camtasia. It also, I think, is very applicable for PowerPoint video creators. Why? Because it has a freaking timeline, right? How hard is it to time animations and things like that in PowerPoint? It absolutely sucks. So one of the things you can do is, you know, use the templates, like the same kinds of things you could create in PowerPoint, only it's literally drag and drop easy, right? So I really like that aspect. So if you use PowerPoint to make videos, you can do a lot of the same kinds of things in this, especially when it comes to these animated characters, which are very cool, easier. It's just flat out easier in this than it is in PowerPoint. Like I say, I'm not going to get into every feature. You know what? In fact, I have a feature list right here. Let's put that in the chat box. And then one other thing you can do for detail is it has some pretty decent tutorials. I think they're adding more and there's a nice help page and stuff like that. So they, they do a good job of drilling down into pretty much all of the details. Like I say, I'm liking this more than I thought I would. It actually has masking and some pretty heavy duty features. Green screen, you can animate SVG images because it breaks them apart, right? And then, you know, the aspects of animating stuff, I just kind of like it. So there we go. Is Creator a PC program? Asked Robert. It is PC and Mac. So they have both PC and Mac versions. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all we'll kind of dive into there for the time being. I kind of like it. Again, at the launch price, it's a pretty nice little tool. I've been playing with it for, I don't know, four or five days. And each one of these little samples that I did was really simple.